370, the Dover bus stop where dad caught the bus to work when he had car troubles in the early 70s. 371, so we bought a pack of picking cigarettes. an ear of corn in that little plot near the tennis courts in Grenoble. Corn plot is one of the repeated memories that stands out as having a possibly sinister component. A dead body was there, or people were killed there in the past, or toxic chemicals were dumped there. That's always a good image, a drum of chemicals poking out of the mud. I snuck in there twice to steal an ear of the sweetest corn, which I boiled on my camping stove in the near empty dorm. Three seventy three, stopping near a smoke belching main paper plant on an overnight drive with Owen Andrews from Nova Scotia to Vermont. August of 85. 377, the time Dave Turkle and I discovered the pot plant by Pathmark. 378, walking with Louisa to the stream behind my grandparents' old house near Tanglewood on our first wedding anniversary in 1990. 379, riding a bus to Chicago's O'Hare Airport on a frigid and fateful day in December 1988. 383, the kindergarten entrance to Marshall School. 384, walking out to Jimmy Gander's apartment on the Somerville Malden border. 385, buying the Ubov Popova postcards at a shop in Soho in the mid 80s. 390, the candy store in the little business district on Ridgewood Road. 391, walking on 2nd Avenue during my first years in New York. 407, driving away from the main paper plant that night with Owen Andrews. In the middle of our overnight drive from Nova Scotia to Huntington, Vermont, Owen stopped and woke me to see this smoke-belching factory in the middle of nowhere, a frightening sight. Later, as we crossed the White Mountains, I fell asleep while I was smoking a cigarette. Luckily, I wasn't driving. Owen was. And he never did fall asleep. And that's one reason I'm still alive.